All right, so welcome to my run of Brandon Lilly's Cube Predator Method. Uh, this is a bench program that he sets up as an outline, pretty much of uh, bench days on Monday as a light day, and then on Saturdays as a heavy day. This program, Brandon said, uh, more so outlines the plan that helped him hit his all-time best bench press 540 at 284, and also helped Jim Morris hit 635 at super heavyweight, and many others hit all-time bench PRs. So. The routine works off of percentages based on your one rep max for competition bench and incline. I subbed out incline for close grip because I'm training at home currently and I don't really have an incline set up. Um, I plan to utilize this program for my first ever powerlifting bench competition and ideally shooting for a state record. My one rep max that I plugged in for my competition bench is 343 with a close grip one rep at 319. And I got that by subtracting 7% of my competition bench, which you can do a similar thing here or just test your incline if you have that available to you, unlike myself. So today's lift went as follows. With the pause competition bench, it was 50% for eight reps, which came out to be 170 pounds, 60% for five reps, which came out to be 205, 70% times three, which was 240. Uh, that was for five sets and then 60% of my one rep max for two sets am rep, which is as many reps as possible. I had 12 paused and then 13 touch and go. And then I moved on to close grip where I hit 70% of my close grip max for am rep sets, three of them. That came out to be 225 pounds and I hit six reps each time. And then I moved on to some DB hammer press and then DB skull. All in all, a pretty fun day, and I really enjoy training with percentage-based programs as I think it's really good to have set numbers going into a lift. Um, it also makes it easier to not fail lifts, and one of the most important aspects when strength training or powerlifting is confidence, and nothing's going to boost your confidence more than having successful lifts day in and day out. Um, again, with a program like this, it, it kind of prevents you from overshooting and failing a lift and screwing with your psyche, especially in a case like mine or yours, potentially. Um, I'm near six weeks out from my competition, so having successful lifts week by week, like I said, just kind of helps my mindset. Um, and I also broke a split up a bit as such, which I'll go over. To not have such demanding press days, I move shoulder work to its own day. The breakdown of my split is day one, his light day, his light bench day, uh, minus additional shoulder work, as I said. And of course, it's tailored a bit to what I have access to and can do in my budget setup at home. Day two is a pool day, essentially. Day three is light shoulders and some light bandit bench just to kind of keep bench frequency up a little bit. Day four, I hit legs. And then day five is his heavy bench day. Again, modified a little bit. And then two rest days, pretty much as I see fit. Um, yeah, cheers. So that was day one. It was fairly easy, but I got a pretty great pump from it. And I'm excited to see how far this routine can push me and hopefully go for a state record come the end of February. All right, peace, subscribe, thumbs up. Check out Brandon's program if you're interested. All right, bye.